Traditionally, in order to start programming, you needed to install software for the language that you wanted to use. In our case, we're going to use an online option called CoCalc, which stands for Collaborative Calculation in the Cloud. You don't need to install anything, you just simply open a web browser like Google Chrome and log in with your university email address. Firstly, go to cocalc.com, click on sign in, and when you're presented with the sign in options, you can click G for Google Mail. Your Sheffield University email address is a Google email address. So once you log in via the university, you're immediately onto the system. In this case, you can start making your own projects within seconds and programming without any of the traditional hassle of installing software. CoCalc also enables you to code on mobile devices, such as a tablet or mobile phone. And it enables you also to avail of feedback or text or video chat, along with the use of many other languages besides Python. You can also write your technical documents on LaTeX on CoCalc and perform course management and work in real-time collaboration with many other people. We will look at CoCalc in much more detail in the next video. There is still the option, of course, to install Python on your laptop or university desktop. And to do so, I recommend downloading the Anaconda distribution of Python. Go to the Anaconda website, and there you will find options for Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems. Once you install the Anaconda software, it provides you by default Jupyter Notebooks, an IPython console, and Spider. Spider is an interesting piece of software to use because if you haven't used something similar before, it's called an integrated development environment. And it essentially gives you all the main components that you need to code efficiently. You have a text editor, you have a variable and file explorer, and you also have a Python interpreter, all in one software window. As an example, we'll show you how we can code our typical Hello World program. The nice thing about using an IDE like Spyther is that it also provides you with lots of little tips as you write for functions and variables. Once you've got your initial script, you save it like a normal text file and run it with the play symbol. Afterwards, you immediately see all the variables are added to the variable list. So there are the two main options of how you can use Python. The online option with CoCalc is very flexible, but in the times where you don't have an internet connection, it's always worth having Anaconda installed on your laptop or desktop. In the next video, we'll look at CoCalc in much more detail.